Tom went for it. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's a good segue. The neighboring community to the town of Lockport. What does Pendleton take then on the proposed Walmart, and how long it's taking, and things like that? So. Uh, you know, I you know, I mean, certainly there's a lot of people in town of Pendleton said, right. you know, let's we should get the, you know, uh, Walmart for ourselves mm -hmm. and, and things like that. Um, you know, trying to contact Walmart, you know, and I, you know, had some discussions and things, but they were seem to be pretty well set on the town of Lockport. You know, you know, we let them know that we're interested. You know, you know, I did explain that we're in between whether they're having a problem with Lockport, they're having a problem with Amherst, and we're kind of right. the in between spots. Um, but you know, it's certainly not that. I don't think it's you know something we're going to try to you know steal it from Lockport right. or anything like that. I right. think you know I've worked with Mark Smith, and I think you know. He, if it ended up in, in Pendleton, he said he'd be the first one there to at the ribbon cutting to, you know. Yeah, he just thinks it's important for our area to, you know, have something like that. And I think, you know, same way in the town of Pendleton that, you know, people are the, the vast majority I talked to would be receptive to something like that. Okay. Well, that. I know you guys talked about the supervisor the term limits, we should probably get that yeah. on camera. Um, you know, just your thoughts on the proposal that's out there. We, what we're proposing is we have, um, you know, all four, the supervisor, the town clerk, the um, highway superintendent, and the tax collector. Mm -hmm. uh, we put them all up for four year, the, right. the referendum on for four year terms. With the uh, supervisor and highway superintendent being uh, at the same time, and the uh, town clerk and the uh, tax collector also being at the same time. So, and the, the real thought is that, you know, in the town, in town hall, the supervisor and the town clerk really have a lot to, to be concerned with the day-to-day -day operations. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, to lose both of them at the same time, it, would, it, it can be difficult. When I first came in, we had a new town clerk, you know, and I was a new supervisor, but I did have eight years on the council to start with. So that made it a little bit easier, and there was a lot of things that, that I did know. But if you had two people brand new, you would, there'd be just missed opportunities, things that you didn't do right, um, that, that would hurt the town in the long run. And I just think it would be a little bit, for the continuity, you know, it makes some sense. And we, we you know, we, we, once we talk about, you know, the merging tax collector and the um, town clerk's positions eventually, you know, to kind of, right now the tax collector's there, um, you know, three days a week, you know, three hours a day. This would make it a little bit nicer for them eventually. So we kind of set those two up so that it would, they would go in together at the same time. Hmm. So, but that was a rationale there. Right, you know, right. Was, you know, yeah. Um, uh, Are you going to vote for or against it? I would vote for it. You know, I just think it makes, you know, it makes sense to, to have some continuity in town government. I think, you know, in this day and age, you know, not to have some people um, you know, they're knowing what's going on is really, really difficult. You know, even if your people are upset over one particular issue, you really don't want to throw everything else out and, and hurt your town overall with as far as grants and things like that. Mm -hmm. With all that going on, too, I just think you'd be making a, it would be a mistake. Are there any grant proposals that are out there right now that you can use as an example of something that would drop off if you weren't? Well, we're in the yeah. process of finishing. We've got the approval, but we're doing working through the paperwork on the you know, proposal for the one going uh, for the rails to trails mm -hmm. from Mapleton to Lockport Road, and to just kind of stop at this point and you know hope that everybody would pick up the, right. the loose ends. You might miss out, mm -hmm. you know, on things or miss out on, on different areas. Um, and see what other things that we're looking at. Um, we're looking at some highway things, but maybe that wouldn't be as particular. But you know, things like that, that sort of have the interaction between the right. clerk's office and the uh, um, supervisor's office. That, you know, you need to make sure everything goes forward and everything is captured so that we get reimbursed in the proper way. So you know, something like that. You'd, you'd hate to miss out yeah, right. just because right. somebody didn't do the right paperwork or didn't quite collect the right data. And then you don't get paid for part of it because you didn't do it right. Sure, you know, sure. things like that. So, okay. yes, things like that. I think mm -hmm. that are important. What kind of uh, relationship do you, or does the town have with the Star Point School District? Obviously, it's a growing district. You know, kind of falls in line with the town itself, the right. town we feel, and things like that. Um, you know, does the town work with the school district to? I don't know, is there any sort of relationship there? Yeah, the the a lot, our recreation program in the summer is held at Star Point School District. Yeah. And, uh, so, and we work very well with them as far as you know, 
we may need something that we have, you know, we help them out with a piece of equipment or whatever. Um, I guess if there's new families who are considering Starpoint as a school district and they have how many towns to choose from to settle, mm -hmm. is Pendleton in there trying to say, hey, settle in Pendleton, not Wheatfield or Cambria or Town Lock or something? I don't, I don't think we're going aggressively, you know, saying, you know, come to Pendleton right. or Wheatfield or, or come to Pendleton or Lockport, but I think there are advantages in the sense of the recreation programs and things because a lot of them are, are through the, the town, mm -hmm. but they're at oh, Star Point, you know, some of the baseball fields and things, you know, soccer fields, um, right. you know, and things like that. That, uh, you know, just like in baseball, you know, if you, well, we don't have too many over there anymore, but there are, there are advantages to being in the town of Pendleton as far as recreation with uh, Star Point. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's also you're fairly close to them. Right, sure. That's what I was thinking. Um, your opponent would probably say, we haven't interviewed him yet, but he would probably say that um, you know he's got experience on the town board, town council. Uh, I guess what separates the two of you? Why isn't he the right choice for our viewers? Oh, I, I guess I would just go right to the you know, record of you know, and his voting for tax increases and, you know, the last tax cut, we cut the tax 20% and he voted against it. Um, you know, he, his ideas and mine are, in that respect, I think, are different. I think, you know, if people, you know, that's, to me, one, one of the big things is just our record on taxes and stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, right, you know, it's easy, it's easy to keep the status quo and keep taxing the people at the same level. Mm -hmm. And I think unless you have the will to do it, it's going to stay that way because it's, you know, it's like a, well, I don't, if I just hold the same, it'll be all right. right. But you have to kind of, let's say, I'm going to do some work in order to cut the taxes and still, uh, mm -hmm. you know, keep going forward. And, you know, it's delivering the services, you know, completing the projects and things like that. So uh, I think that's, that's probably the biggest difference that I think between the two of us. Are there parks and divisions? I'm sorry? Are, you, are there party differences or parks and divisions? In your Democrat, how many Democrats are Republican? Yeah, well, um, I mean, I'm guessing uh, how many Republicans are on your town council? Um, I haven't done my homework yet, so. <laughs> <laughs> There's uh, three Republicans, one conservative, and I'm the only Democrat. Okay. So, you know, um, in that respect, you know, I'm the, the minority, I guess, because, you know, the conservatives usually go in this area, anyways, with the Republicans. Um, but, you know, overall, I would say most of the time we vote five nothing. I mean, it's not. Uh, a big division, you know, in that respect, I think, um, you know, other than taxes, I think that's, you know, that's one of the issues that we seem to be, you know, split on somewhat. So that vote, do you recall what the vote was there? It must not have been five enough if you voted. Four or one. Four, he was the one? Yeah. Okay. Um, and we can ask Tim this, but what was the reason for the one? He did, you know, he didn't agree with one part of the budget, and so, he, you know, all together. Yeah, but I mean, I guess my contention there is if you had a question, we sat through weeks and weeks of budget hearings, why not bring it up and talk about it then? Right. Rather than just hold up and vote no at the end. I mean, we could have probably resolved the issues right. during the time. You know, when, you, when you get to that last meeting, you say, is everybody happy? Right. If you're not happy, that's the time to speak up, right? As a, the minority of the Democrat, um, are there things that the board has passed or not passed that you've been upset with and you hope to maybe bring up again the deck, you know, the changes, the, uh, the makeup mm -hmm. on the board. The board's not going to change. It's you know, well makeup. said, okay. I mean, the, the other, the council, council member, two council members? Two councilmen are up, but they're not, they're on a post. Okay. So okay. they're not going to change. So everything's the same. Okay. So yeah. everything remains the same. Is there anything the only difference to? would be if, if I was defeated, you know, that maybe it would replace, you know, that position with another. Right. 